Hey guys, Unfrequented World Photography coming at you with more post-processing tips. Uh, in the last video I showed you guys how to do four basic adjustments that would really make your images stand out and that was adjusting sharpness, contrast, saturation and warmth. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do the same thing but using a really cool plug-in effect, Nick FX. I bought this program back in the day and it was $180. But it was like for the elite. You had to pay for it to use it. Well, Google has since bought out Nick and they offer this amazing plug-in pack for free. So join me and I'll show you guys how to use it. Here we are back in Corel Paint Shop Pro X9 and I've opened the same image that we used in the last video because we're going to show you uh, the changes we made in the last video versus the changes using Nick Effects. So I've downloaded Nick and I've installed it. And what I'm going to tell you guys, um, what you have to do is go under your file and preferences within whatever editing program you're using and you have to go to, in the case of Corel Paint Shop Pro, it's File Locations. And once you do that, you can then add a folder over here on the right and I've simply added where I installed the Google Nick effects. So Program Files, Google Nick. Okay? And now when I go up here at the top, under my effects tab, I go to plugins, my Nick collection appears there. And so what you're looking at right here is everything that you now get for free in this Nick plugin pack. Color effects, uh, define is like a noise removal, HDR effects, sharpening pro for raw and JPEG, silver effects, and vi viveza, which is like a texture pack. Okay, so that's everything Google Nick offers. The one we're going to concentrate on today to get those same effects that we did in the last video, the four basic steps that make your images jump out, can all be found under Color Effects Pro. It's just to show you what we're working on here, we're going to add that duplicate layer again. And for those of you that are astute, you'll notice there are three layers over here. The top layer is the changes that we made in the last video, because we're going to compare Nick effects to the manual way of doing it when we're done. So. Step number one was sharpening, and guess what? We're going to do that the exact same way we did before, just in our basic editing program. Sharpness, high pass sharpen, soft light, 70% strength, and a 10 radius. Now that that's done, we'll move on to step two, which was a contrast adjustment, and now is where we open our plugin Nick Collection Color Effects Pro 4. Once inside Nick, you guys are going to notice over here on the left, these are all the filters that are available just for color effects. And there's got to be 50 of them in here, and they are absolutely amazing, okay? They, there are tons of things. Uh, film effects, color effects, um, foliage, glamour glow, all that stuff. We're not interested in that right now. We're trying to do the four basic steps we did before. And our second step was level adjustment. And here in Nick Effects, we do that under Pro Contrast. This is used on 99% of my images, okay? We select it on the left, and then over here on the right is where we make our adjustments. This bottom slider is Dynamic Contrast, which is going to raise your blacks and your high spots. And you can see the image changing as I slide it across. And we're, again, we're looking to not blow out any of the, the high areas. We want to keep detail in the high areas but get a little more detail in the shadowed areas. Okay, so just, just by eye you're going to slide it back and forth till you find somewhere that you like. And for me it's somewhere probably right around here, 60%, somewhere around there. Okay, and this middle level slider here is for raising your blacks. That's for darkening your entire image. And sometimes I'll add that, sometimes I won't. This image will add just a little tiny bit eight, nine percent, somewhere in there. You can actually see this image was taken in the rain and I can see the rain uh, coming back into the image now. This top slider here is for minor warmth corrections, okay? It's color cast corrector and we see that on the left hand side it's more of a, a, a warm and if we slide it to the right it becomes a colder image. So we're not going to adjust that because it doesn't, this image doesn't need that. So now we've done our first two steps sharpening and our level correction. To add a filter, you just click here on the right, add filter, then we select it from the left. Our next step was warmth and then saturation. 
Well, within Nick Color Effects, both of those are found in the same filter, Brilliance and Warmth. If we select that, over on the right we see a Saturation slider bar and a Warmth slider bar. So the Saturation, we're going to really bump this up somewhere around 50%. We went a little overboard on the last image that we did. Um, and we're going to go somewhere around 40% for our warmth, okay? Again, it's just your eye. What are you feeling at that moment? What do you want this image to look like? And we're really going to max this out so you guys see the total effect here, okay? So now we've added all the filters we want to add. When we're done, down on the bottom right side, we click OK, and they get applied to our image. Okay, guys, here's the cool part. This is where we get to see the changes we've made. This is the original photograph right here. And here are the changes we made in Nick Effects. So, straight off the camera and adjusted post. Now this is the even cooler part. We can show you the changes that we made last time manually. What do they look like compared to what we just did in Nick Effects? And those changes are right here. So that's the final image we ended up when we did it manually versus what we did in Nick. I actually prefer in Nick using that Pro Contrast because it brings out the blacks hidden inside foliage and things like that. Here's manual, it's kind of got a flat wash to it a little bit. It looks pretty good and we did that for years. But once you start using Pro Contrast and Nick Effects, it just has a little bit more pop to it even. Either one of them are better than this, which is what we started with. So there you have it guys, a slightly different route, but we end up with the same impact at the end. Nick FX is an amazing, powerful plug-in set. If you're not using it, it's free. There's nothing stopping you. I can't recommend it enough. What I showed you guys today is just one one thousandth of what you can do with that plug-in pack. So give it a try, download it, play with it, have fun. Stay tuned guys, I'm going to show you more cool and interesting things that we can do next week to make our images stand out.